Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will show you the most awaited ROM for Realme X2 Pro. So let's get started. In this video, I am gonna review Oxygen OS which is built for Realme X2 Pro. So stay tuned. At last, I will also show you how to install this ROM on your device. If you move to the settings and go to the about phone, you can see the, all the information. A massive thanks to the developer of this ROM at the rate IMK Gehlot. You can follow him on Instagram. I am giving the link in the description as well as on the screen. You can follow him and show some love. Now moving forward, if you go to the display option, if you go to the screen calibration option, you can see we have three options, vivid, natural and advanced. In advanced, we have more options. By default, it comes with vivid option. We have also refresh rate option. Here you can see 90Hz and 60Hz, both are working perfectly fine. We have also night mode, reading mode and vibrant color effect. We also have ambient display option. All the things in the display are perfectly working. If you go to customization, you can see we have lots of options. We have preset themes, wallpaper, clock style. In system customization, you can see we have accent color. We can set the accent color, whatever you want. We have system icons. We have icon pack everything is working fine if you move forward in sound and vibration you can see we have different types of modes which we can adjust according to our need if you go to button and gesture we go to navigation bar you can see we have all the options the gestures are working pretty fine you can see no problem at all if you go to security and lock screen you can see we have security update of august 1 2020 and screen lock we have swipe pattern pin and password as usual test lock is working perfectly as you can see face lock is working perfectly if you move to digital well-being it is also present if you go to utilities you can see we have all the options which are already present in oneplus phones we also have quick reply in landscape option volti and volti wi-fi is also working perfectly you can see there is no problem in that now let's move to camera section you can see oneplus camera is already installed but i will suggest you to use gcam you can click photos if you use gcam you can see we have aux lens support we have telephoto main lens and ultra wide those who are interested in DRM info, you can see we have Wideband L3 support. Uh, we don't have Wideband L1 support here. Talking about speaker, stereo speaker is working perfectly fine. You can see. Moving forward, those who are interested in banking apps, you can see banking app is working perfectly fine here i am using google pay there is no problem it is working perfectly fine in same way phone pay and paytm will also work if you find some difficulties in using banking apps just go to magisk click on three dots here go to magisk hide and just tick the app which is detecting the route if you go to recent apps you can see we have icons here to navigate through different apps Talking about pros, Gcam with Oxygen is working perfectly fine. OnePlus camera photo is perfectly working. And if you go to Play Store, you can see Netflix is present. Banking apps are working perfectly fine. There is no lag and stutter in this video. Volti Wi Fi and Wi Fi, everything is working. Oxygen is also working in Gcam. Screen recorder is also working. 
you can see we have lots of options in screen recording theme engine is working wi-fi bluetooth everything is working 90 hertz working talking about cons the video recording in this rom is broken uh, but it will be fixed in the next build now for video you can use open camera as you can see open camera has very good video output it is same like gcam video quality is very good fingerprint and call recording not working in this phone it is also broken call recording is expected to be fixed in the next build nfc is also broken nfc is not working it will be also fixed in the next build of the rom the dc dimming is not working for that we have to go to notification panel here go to the edit option from here you can add this dc dimming option and now have to turn it on by going to dc dimming and toggle the button and now if we go here you can see dc dimming is working for those who are interested in geekbench you can see these scores battery backup is also very fine on this rom hitting 8 hours of screen on time with moderate usage with 30 minutes of pubg included and some camera also and this battery backup is on 90 hertz with wi-fi and bluetooth on and now talking about gaming you can see gaming mode is on we also have fanatic mode which is working perfectly fine if you go to graphic settings you can see we have smooth with extreme and we have hdr with extreme here you can see FPS option We are getting constant 60 fps no frame drops now that's it for the review now we will move to the installation part if you have any problem you can comment down below or you can follow the link in the description and join the telegram group and there you can ask your queries and now let's move to the installation part i will show you how to install this rom uh, copy all the files into the internal storage or copy it to the pen drive and just connect it now boot into recovery press the power button and then click power off now boot into bootloader mode and press the power button till you see the recovery mode option now press the power button i am using orange fox you can use twrp also same process for both of them now type in your pin now we have to locate otg before that we have to wipe Dalvik Cache System Vendor and Data If you paste the file in the internal storage then don't wipe the internal storage Now swipe to wipe Now go back and we have already selected USB OTG Now we have to locate the folder we have copied all the files Firstly we have to flash the vendor file and Now just click and swipe to install As you can see, the flashing is done. Now go back and we have to select Oxygen Mesh System file and swipe to flash and just wait for it. Now, as you can see, installation is now completed. Now we have to flash Magisk. For this, we have to go back again and click on Magisk and then swipe to flash and just wait when the whole process is complete now we have to go back and click on this dustbin icon and then go to format data and type in yes and click tick now we can reboot into the system as you can see we have successfully booted into oxygen os now let me complete the setup as you can see we have now successfully booted into Oxygen OS. We have to do one more step. We have to flash a Magisk module. If you don't see Magisk here in the menu after flashing, just flash the Magisk chip again and then it will be present there. Now click on the Magisk 
go to modules click on the plus icon allow and locate the file which you have already downloaded bug fix file click on the file and just reboot now your rom is ready to use install the gcam and you're good to go so guys that's the video on the oxygen os if you have any problem just comment down below or you can join the telegram group the link is in the description for more update on oxygen os you can join the oxygen os group the telegram group link is in the description and once again massive thanks to the developer of oxygen os if you guys like his work you can follow him on instagram here is the id thank you guys thanks for watching so if you want something to hold